Nicki Minaj. Definida por The New York Times como la rapera más influyente de todos los tiempos, se ha destacado no solo por su actitud y atuendos controversiales, sino también por las letras de sus canciones. Juega conscientemente a evitar todo tipo de etiquetas. Estas son las 10 reglas del éxito de Nicki Minaj. Yeah, when I think about where I came from, sometimes it is surprising. I guess, in a way, I always felt like it was my calling to do something bigger than just be in Southside Jamaica, Queens, hanging out. But I guess um, every now and then I do feel like, wait a minute, is this really my life? Like, I, I can't believe I've impacted a culture, you know, the hip-hop culture. Sometimes that is surreal for me because I didn't even set out to be a rapper you know what i mean like you know sometimes you have like that dream when you're little i didn't think when i was like 10 years old i'm gonna be a rapper one day you know it just it just happened but the other day i realized like even even when things are bad or you know going crazy like i have so much to be thankful for those little tiny things that you know what i'm saying are, that i have like those people in my life that i can count on <sighs> It just makes everything, you know what I mean? Like I can reflect now and, and be super appreciative of everything. When people see there's one person that's getting a lot of shine or notoriety or whatever, it makes them feel unhappy with themselves. I mean, you know, the small-minded people feel unhappy with themselves, you know, but the, but the intelligent girls just take, you know, the things that they like um, from me and my journey and they apply it to their journey. And, um, and I think if I had it my way, that's what they'd all do. I mean, everybody's not gonna like Nicki Minaj, you know what I mean? You know, everybody's not gonna like the way I look and you know what I do, but I think if you're smart, you would take from me and, and you know, um, figure out why everybody's talking about me and you know. Um, I mean, that would, be the, that would be the smart thing to do. And I think they don't know how to express that. So they express it with anger and jealousy and hatred and, and then that consumes them and you know, And I'm still here. Dream Team Minaj says, I love you, but I'm curious, why did you change your rapping style from the come up days to today? I love both. I don't think I changed my rap style. Um, I think you guys were just starting to hear me and you didn't hear all of me yet. That's it. I've always been into being weird a little bit. Um, but I think what people really mean is that they think that I've changed my persona and And life is about growth and change, and I don't want to remain the same for my whole life. I want to be able to change, and you know, I respect the people who loved, you know, 07 Nikki, and I'm definitely gonna give you some stuff in, on Pink Friday. Like, I'm not forgetting anybody, but I just also have to be true to me, and the truth is, I, I started seeing different things. I started going different places. I started eating different things. I, I can't, I, it would be fraudulent to, to rap the same way and look the same way and act the same way because I am not the same, period. I don't know how to. To be you, um, make sure that your art isn't being done to please anyone but you because something magical happens when you do what you love. And whether it's loved by the masses or not, there's magic in that genuine love that you have for your own art, and it could never be taken away. And then little by little, people start catching on. So just, just follow your heart and don't be afraid. You have to be a beast. That's the only way they respect you. I came up under Wayne, and Wayne has his way of doing things. When Wayne walks on a set and say, don't talk to me, have my music ready, get the up out of my face and I'm gonna blow this to your face all day, it's cool. But every time I, every time I put my foot down and stand up for myself, it's like, We've heard about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj shut down a photo shoot. Oh my God! Everyone's no one's to work with Nicki Minaj. I'm glad you heard. Now, when I come to a photo shoot, let it be of quality. You know why? Because I put quality in what I do. 
So if I turn up to a photo shoot and you had and you got a fifty dollar clothes budget and some sliced pickles on board, you want to know what? No, I am gonna leave. Is that wrong for wanting more for myself, wanting people to treat me with respect? But you know what? Next time they know better. But had I accepted the pickle juice, I would be drinking pickle juice right now. It's a ladder. You, you want to climb the ladder to success. And some people don't don't appreciate the first two or three steps. You know what I'm saying? They just want to get to the top. And I always said I didn't want to rush an album. I didn't want to rush anything. I was always like, when I do it, I'm going to do it right. When I do it, I'm going to do it big. And a part of that is that grind, is the blood, sweat, and tears, even though it, you know, it doesn't feel too good at the moment. I know that one day I'm gonna look back and say it was all worth it because there's nothing better than staying grounded and appreciating what you have. Because even though I'm not a multi-platinum artist, I know I'm still better off than a lot of girls that have been trying to do it for so many years and they haven't gotten their foot in the door, so I'm their voice. You know, they probably hate me, but I, I got love for them. Do you read so, the blogs and? I don't no. read them, I don't okay. read them. Any, anything like about me, really, I don't read them. Like uh -huh. even if there's an article somewhere about me and people will call me and tell me, I won't read them. Uh -huh. It's too, <clears throat> it puts you It puts you in the mind frame of um, a victim uh -huh. too much. Mm -hmm. And when, you, when you're when you a powerful person, you can't play victim, mm -hmm. you know, victim has to go out the door. So sometimes when you read negative things, it's like you feel sorry for yourself and there's no room in life to feel sorry for mm -hmm. yourself. It's just like, yo, let's go. Really, I just kept at it. Um, I, I work, 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 work. I don't, I don't believe in, I hate lazy people. I hate laziness. I just don't like procrastination. I don't like people that make up excuses. Just get it done. And I've always taken that approach with my life and my career. And I guess that's why you know, I guess that's why I've been around. And I haven't just gotten around, you know. Yeah. I, I've been we here know, for a minute. You know, yeah, well, you, you guys probably know. Yeah. yeah. So I've been trying for a long time. And it just goes to show you, like, you know what? If you really want something, you work hard at it. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, people will come around. It's just it's just up to you to stick with it. I think yeah. the problem is a lot of people just give up because it's so difficult. You know, you want to yeah. go and, you know, it's like you, you you got bills to pay. You can't keep on going to the studio. You got to do this. So a lot of people just give up. But I just didn't. I just kept working. I think that being... Being an underground artist was the best thing I could have ever done in my life. Being independent and not signed to a major label was amazing because, you know, it teaches you to be your own boss. It teaches you to have drive. When you don't have a machine behind you, that's when, you know, that God-given drive comes out. And um, sometimes when you have a machine too early, you just kind of, you know, become dependent on it and then when and when that machine goes away then you you find artists that don't even know how to live or function without a major backing um so i, I cherish the independent days um I'm, I'm about to embark on a new journey with a major and i'm excited i think i think it's time and don't ever give up i mean i could have given up a million times and you know there's always something you know I guess in the back of my head that just says, not yet. You know, you should always listen to that voice that tells you, not yet. Don't give in just yet. Because there's always a billion people waiting to take your spot. Mm -hmm. And um, on another note, you don't know who whose life you can touch, if, you know, when, when you do what you do. You know what I mean? So just keep on doing, doing your thing.